Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video. The series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week one of Palace's Spring 2023 collection. Because <laughs> I've been doing all the highlights of like my top five favorite items from Palace's Ultimo season, uh, 2022 season, uh, Supreme's Fall Winter 2022 season. I was almost going to go Spring 2022. <laughs> I had to remind myself it's 2023 now. But yes, we are doing it. We are covering the first week of Palace's first season for 2023. Uh, quite obviously, as always, week one is the biggest week of the season. There's going to be a lot of heavy hitters releasing in the week. Um, and this video, like every other week one video, it's going to go for a while. We've got a lot to cover. There is so much releasing in week one. I've never seen this being done before, where Max Merch Moore had to do two whole posts dedicated to this. <laughs> so not just one post, but two whole posts to cover week one. I thought that was absolutely crazy. And quite obviously, those are the two uh, posts we'll be using today to cover the release details for week one, all the individual items releasing in it, and my thoughts and opinions on said items and the week as a whole. Now, I feel like we're going to be here till the end of time if I cover it page by page. Um, well, page by page and then taking a pause with each page. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover post one as quickly as possible and post two as quickly as possible. Just kind of like highlighting the items and maybe just stopping on the ones that I think are really cool and adding some more comments there because yeah, as I mentioned, week one is just huge. Um, if you guys want to go through the posts or the pages more in depth, I'll link all the posts that I'm using today in that description section below. But uh, yeah, now that I've kind of go gone over what we're going to be covering today, let's go check out the release details for week one. Okay, so here we are at the first post we're going to be using today, guys. Um, it'll be, as I mentioned before, it'll be linked down below. Spring 23, full expected drop list, part one. Like, <laughs> they had to do two different parts. Uh, all items will be releasing uh, this, uh, this Friday in store and online, February 3rd, 2023, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. GMT time, and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is 8 a.m. Pacific. Pacific Standard Time, I think in the US. Look, you guys in the United States, you let me know if I'm wrong in that comment section below, but from memory, three hours? Three hours is the time difference? Maybe, I could be wrong there. Anyway, estimated price list will be posted Thursday evening, so stay tuned for Max Merch More. Yeah, so at the moment, hasn't been posted as of yet, but the next post will be the uh, estimated price list. So if there's any items here that you see that will be dropping and you're keen on them, stay tuned for Max Merch More and you'll get an estimated price of them. Uh, yeah, comment down below in my comment section below on the items you're keen for for week one. But um, yep, yeah, now that we've covered all the release details, it's releasing Friday, 11 a.m. GMT or 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, oh, I suppose we should also mention the lovely people in Japan and China will be getting it. From what I know, it's still on the Saturday. I, I might want to confirm that with the Palace online store, but from memory, if it hasn't changed from last year, you guys get it the day later and you get it on the Saturday. Uh, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in store and online and 11 a.m. Chinese Standard uh, Time on the WeChat store. Uh, I should, yeah, I thought I should just mention those release details as well. But yeah, now that we have literally covered all the release details of when and where it's dropping, um, yeah, now we've got to cover the pieces, guys. So as I kind of highlighted, I want to get through this as quickly as possible because there's quite a few pieces here. But I'll obviously make some comments here and there on pieces I think are cool. Uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Let's start covering post one. Okay, post one, page one, the downtown jacket featuring an all over embroidered design on this bomber jacket, um, which features like a, well, it features the same graphic that we see here on the shirt and the jeans. I really like it on the jeans, but it's also done way more tastefully on this jacket here. Love it. It's probably going to cost an arm and a leg though. We've got the Zen work jacket, which we saw featuring in the lookbook, uh, it features a graphic on the back, which I think is really nice and a graphic on the front. I think the green is actually the best color out of them all. Cause even the black one, I feel like you 
you lose some of the graphic on there. The green one is really, really nice there. We've got the Gone Fishing Jacket. I actually just like the paneling on it and the colors that it comes in. They've chosen some very nice options for it. Not a jacket that I would wear. I literally have like one North Face jacket of this silhouette um, in my wardrobe. But I know a lot of you guys out there are very keen on it. Moving on down, we got the fluffy cardigan, which I think is just amazing. Amazing. I want both of them. I want extra larges. Give them to me, Palace. It looks fantastic. Yes and yes. Downturn sh uh, downtown shirt. Eh. The jeans, I think, are better. And we got the Moto shell jacket in the navy, deep green and black. Nice. I like the panels on it. It's got some branding on the back. No dramas. We got the matching pants as well. So if you're a fan of the jacket, you can get the matching pants. That is everything on page one. Moving into page two. We have the sport piped quarter zip jacket um, with palace logo and paneling there. I think it looks really nice. I like it in the black the most, but it does come in a blue and gray as well. Moving on down. We've got the Adidas palace hooded firebird track top in the black, white and olive. I'm not a fan of any of these. I, I, I don't like this collab, to be honest, but um, each to their own. Uh, we have the Sport Pipe Jogger Crystallized Blue. They're okay. I think I prefer the jacket, though, out of the two pieces there. Well, we've obviously got the matching track pants uh, for the hooded top here as well. I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this design with the Adidas logos along the sides there and stuff. I do like it more when people have like the full ensemble, but it still doesn't speak to me that much. Uh, we have the sport piped jogger in the black. That's okay. We've got the palace puig sem uh, samba cores coming in the black silver, the white core black, and the olive and gold. I think that's probably the worst color, but the other two colors are actually quite nice. I like the silhouette. I like all the little details on it. It's actually an all right pair of lows for sure. Um, I don't mind these two colors. You kind of lose me on the green and gold though. Um, next, we have the sport pipe jogger. Eh, that's all right. Uh, that is everything in page two. Let's move into page three. We got the fleece bonded full zip mo uh, mo uh, coming in the mojito, the navy, and the black. I actually don't mind this jacket. It's quite a nice, simple little palace jacket. Don't know how I feel about the uh, yeah the very lime pastel color here, but the navy and black is quite nice. Moving down, we have the gigantic crew in with huge, gigantic palace font on it. I like it. It's actually quite simple. Simple little hit on the chest there. It's nice. I like it in the navy. Uh, the moto shell bottoms to match the moto shell jacket we saw before, coming in the exact same colors, uh, with the gigantic crew coming in uh, some other colors there. We've got the sofa zip in the mocha and various other colors. Just a simple palace hoodie with a little trifurc logo on the left breast, and it's a full zip one there. Simple if you just want like a nice palace hoodie with a little logo there. That's a zip hoodie. Problem solved. We got the Reacto Triferg hood. Um, I don't fully understand the premise of this hoodie. I haven't actually looked into it too much, but judging by it saying Reacto, I'm assuming that the Triferg is heat reactive in some way, but there does seem to be some kind of like wash done to the, um, the actual design itself. So maybe the hoodie itself is also heat reactive as well. Again, I'm a little unsure on this one, um, but judging from just the design, the design of the logo and the title of it, I, I think I, Placing bets on it being heat reactive is probably a good bet, but yeah, cool to see Palace implementing this kind of stuff to their their like iconic Triferg logo uh, hoodies though. They'll probably come in a couple other colors. Did we already see this Moto Shell bottom in blue black? See, they're doubling up. This is why they had to do a part two. <laughs> there we go. There we got it in the black, green. Uh, we got the Reactor Triferg coming in a green, yellow, blue, uh, blue, orange, and white. Eh. Moving on, we got the waffle long sleeve duck camo. Cool idea, waffle texture applied to a duck camo. Can't complain about that too much, but I actually think I prefer the not camo ones uh, more. Just waffle long sleeves. Um, these are really nice, just simple layering pieces that you can wear underneath a nice jacket and stuff. Just adding a little bit of texture to your outfits. Um, yeah, I think I definitely need to look into getting some waffle pieces and some uh, more textured basics uh, for my outfits. I think that would be uh, very beneficial to my wardrobe. We got the so far long sleeve, same premise as the hoodie, just simple Triferg logo, left breast, palace long sleeve, mocha, gray, navy, and white. That is that page covered. We'll move to the next one. We got the Zen work pants coming in a spring blue, deep green, black. 
Uh, that's about it on the top. Yeah, it's just a double knee coming in some nice colors there. Can't complain about that. You don't see Palace doing double knees too often, or at least I don't remember them doing them too often. So cool to see. Uh, comes in some nice colors. Can't complain. We've got the belter pants coming in a light gray, navy, and black. Solid. Solid. Um, no complaints here. I don't mind belter, belter pants. I think, excuse me, that um, belter pants, just having that little belt there is a nice little bit of flavor added to the outfit as well. It looks nice. We've got the ripstop cargoes coming in a BDU pant camo. Eh. Got it in a navy and black. I think they look a little bit better in the navy and black. We've got the American Psycho collab, which I cannot believe is actually a thing. <laughs> We got the American Psy uh, Psycho Palace collab uh, featuring Patrick Bateman uh, on a black tee, a green tee, a mocha, a purple, a grey and a white. Uh, it's, I, I don't know if I want to buy this with the whole like Sigma grind set like meme that the movie's become because the movie is genuinely a fantastic film but it's just like a big meme now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be known as the guy that has like the Patrick Bateman tea, you know what I mean? Like, ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd have to see. I'd have to see, guys. All right, moving forward. Well, they're basically a t-shirt. There we go. Simple. It's a basically a t-shirt, as it kind of self-describes, with a Palace logo on the left breast there. Uh, it comes in a blue wine uh, mojito, uh, ultra mauve, navy, white, and black. We got a striped t-shirt, nothing too crazy there, just a simple striped tee. We got the downtown t-shirt in regal purple, m yellow, navy, white, and black. I actually really like, I don't know why, but like downtown photography done on t-shirts is really appealing to me. I remember when I was a kid, I used to own like some um, some shirts of like downtown New York um, or just like various areas of New York done on a t-shirt and I had some from like Tokyo as well I don't even know how I had them as a kid, but they were my favorite t-shirts to wear all the time So ever since then I've really just loved like photos of, of cities and city landscapes on t-shirts So something like this is like really really speaking to me. Um, I love it I would love to get it in the black and I'm assuming on the next page. There's gonna be a white yeah, fantastic. I would love it in either. Give it to me in a 2XL if they have it in a 2XL. If not, an XL is fine. Uh, we've got the cutie t-shirt. Um, it's these cutesy little like fonts with some graphics there. It's all right. It comes in a couple colors. Eh. We've got the Palace Things t-shirt coming in a white. Um, that seems to be it <sighs> with the Things t-shirt, but it probably comes in a couple other colors as well. We got the plate t-shirt. I think this is kind of fun. Um, it's a number plate uh, on a palace tee with a bunch of them coming in different regional um, designs as well. As we can see, we've got a New York one, California, New York there. Um, what looks to be like a Japanese one maybe. Um, some other region there. It's cool. It's a cool premise. It's done well. It's a lot of fun. I could get around it. Moving on. We have another plate one. Don't mind the one in the black. We've got the tri-chrome t-shirt. It's a chromed Palace Triferg 3D logo on the back of the t-shirt. Coming in a green, yellow, purple, mocha, navy, gray, black, and white. Lots of color options. I, I'm not a huge fan of the graphic itself. we got the Pal M Graham leather bucket hat in the brown. Its texture makes it look like, like a chicken wire fence has been stamped onto it. Do you know what I mean? I say that, but then like Gucci has that same monogram design all over their bags and stuff, and nobody seems to bat an eye about that. <laughs> but to me, it looks like someone grabbed like chicken wire or like, you know, like barbed wire and just like smooshed it against the leather until there was a print. And I don't know, man, that's never really appealed to me. <laughs> um, each to their own though, obviously. We got the teddy bucket. Um, it's a bucket hat. It's very furry. Coming in a tip, uh, a fox tip, blue tip, black tip. It's okay. We got the tri cool um, hoodie coming in a pl uh, multicolored plaid. I actually like these. I think these are quite nice. I will move on to the other colors. I assume. Yep. Comes in a blue, uh, green, and navy. Nice color combo there. We got the pal flight hat. I've never been a huge fan of these hats, but maybe you guys are. Uh, we've got the P6 panel, nice, just simple P6 panel, wouldn't mind a black one. We've got the uh, gigantic um, Palace beanie, featuring the Palace logo there. Don't mind it in the white, don't mind it in the black. 
We got the Pal M Graham leather backpack coming in a midnight blue or brown. You know how I feel about that when we saw that on the um, on the on the bucket hat there. We got the same thing on a leather wash bag and a little z leather zip wallet. Not feeling it. It's cool that they got a triferg patch um, in there though. I got to praise them for that for sure. Same thing on a belt. Nah. We got the Cordura Holdall coming in a brown and a black. I think that looks quite nice in the black. The brown, I don't know, the texture with the brown looks a bit odd to me. Uh, we got the Corduroy backpack in a brown and black. I'm not a huge backpack guy. I actually like the Corduroy shopper though, like the tote bag looking one. Corduroy tote bag. Who would have ever thought? I can't think of another brand that's done a Corduroy tote bag. Everyone just stuck with canvas and cotton. Pal is changing it up. There we go. We got the corduroy cross body um, body brown coming in the brown and black. Eh. We got the corduroy shot bag in the brown and uh, guess what? I'm placing my money on it. Oh no, there's another page. So it's on the second post. No. <laughs> I bet you on the second post there's gonna be the black one. I bet you. I bet you. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, that is the first post. Um, obviously, some heavy hitters in week one, mainly on the first page. I think my favorite pieces releasing in week one so far are the fluffy cardigans and the downtown jacket. I think those are very lovely pieces. Oh, and the Zen work jacket. Very, very lovely pieces there. Um, some cool t-shirts as well releasing this week. I didn't mind. Uh, where is it? I really like the downtown one. Yeah, the downtown shirt. Love it, love it. Um, the the plate t-shirt was all right in some of the colors, for sure. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of cool different pieces releasing this first week, guys. Obviously, it's the biggest week of the season, so lots to be releasing here. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on everything that we've showcased in post one. Let's move to post two. All right, so here we are in post two, guys. Um, unfortunately, not starting it off with the black bag, so I've been let down. <laughs> but I've been hit with a vinyl, which I wasn't expecting, and something I could actually collect as well, because I actually do have a vinyl collection. But, like, what is a palace vinyl going to sound like? I don't know, but either way, there you go. Um, moving on, we have the Cordura Tri-Wallet coming in a black and a brown. A nice little palace uh, water bottle, which I could get around, you know, I've just, you know, I've got a pretty basic water bottle at the moment. I could, I could get like a Palace branded one and get around it. Um, ah, there we go. All right. They did, they didn't disappoint. They saved it for the first page of the second post, but it was just down the bottom. There's the black one. Not that I wanted it. I just wanted to prove that there was a black one there. But anyway, moving forward, <laughs> we've got the Palace Triferg Zippo Lighter in a high polish brass. I think it looks really nice. Uh, Zippo lighters are very collectible. Streetwear ones are very collectible. I Yeah, I, I'd get something like that. It has an actual use, like, you know, it's a Zippo lighter. Next, we got the Palace Script Pin Badge in a black. Comes in a uh, little your Script Palace logo with a black font. Very nice, simple, I like it. We've got the sticker pack, which obviously features a bunch of graphics that are featuring in the season. We can see that there's going to be a sticker for the American Psycho collab. So if you want the Palace pa uh, American Psycho Patrick Bateman, um, yeah, sticker, there you go. Uh, there's the plate keyring EU version there. We got Palace Dice Red, nice little Palace Dice set. We got the Temptation pin ba uh, badge coming in the red. Nice. The devil with the beer. Little joint. Having some good time there. Nice. I like it. We got the key ring, New York. Um, we got the Triferg air freshener in a yellow. We've got, oh, a lot of pants. We got the So Far long sleeve in the black. Nice. The So Far joggers coming in the same colors as the long sleeves and the zip up hoodies do. We got the baggier jeans coming in a pastel yellow. If you ever wanted pastel yellow jeans, if Golf Lafleur hasn't already done that already in a baggy fit, Palace has got you covered here for the spring 2023 season. Very obscure, but cool to see denim coming in these wacky colors like this. We got it in a stone wash, which I think is more my thing. I like the stone wash. Comes in a pastel pink as well and a black. I actually think the stone wash is the nicest. I love like super baggy stone wash jeans. Very, very nice look. Very, very nice look. 
We've got the Palace over Trouser Tiger coming in in orange. Some very utilitarian pants there. They come in a green and they come in a black. We've got the American Psycho 8.1 uh, skate deck, which I think is probably my favorite piece that I've seen, or maybe the T from the American Psycho collab. We've got the Japanese uh, key ring plates and we've got the LA key ring plates. And that is it. That is everything for post two. Well, okay, to highlight post two, I think the baggier jeans and the stonewash are really nice. I think the American Psycho skate deck's really nice. Uh, the Zippo lighter's an awesome little pickup there. The dice is as well. Uh, I mean, the script pin is fun. No complaints there. I want to know what that vinyl is. I, I want to know what's on it. Um, I would love the drink bottle. I think that would be a nice little addition for me. And I'm just happy that we got to see the corduroy black bag in the second post. <laughs> but that is week one covered, guys. I've tried to do it as quickly as possible this time around because, look, it, it's late. You, you caught me yawning. It's like almost 10 p.m. I got to wake up in a couple hours. Um, I thought I could squeeze out this video. I wanted it to be as quick as possible, mainly because we could just spend hours talking about each individual item. But yeah wanted to make it nice and breezy for you there is week one covered um now as a disclaimer if you see something in this drop list video i would be there at week one's drop times to pick it up it may not necessarily drop in week one as week one's information is always the most inaccurate out of any week but i wouldn't risk it if you want to be there especially for those items that we saw on page one of post one I would definitely be there at the drop time just in case because they could drop it. They, I feel like they might drop the varsity jacket in week one because that's a very week one drop and we didn't see that in the posts here, but they could prove me wrong. You know, maybe Palace sees the downtown jacket as a big enough piece to release in week one instead of the uh, varsity jacket, which, hey, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah. Just thought I'd add that little disclaimer there for the for the drop list. But uh, yeah, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on week one, guys. How you feeling about any of the pieces? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, oh, guys, that's it. That's everything releasing in week one of Palace's Spring 2023 collection. Uh, we covered the release details. It's releasing this Friday, the 3rd of February, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. GMT Time. From what I know, it still releases Saturday for Japan and China, 11 a.m. in the respective time zones. Um, yeah, um, some awesome pieces releasing this week. I won't be going anything uh, because I've picked up some um, boots from Thursday Boots quite recently after I did that video talking about Thursday Boots and I'm actually going to a music festival like next week so I am just saving all the cash for that. I gotta I got go see some Australian music artists live. It's summer guys even though I'm not dressing for it right now because it's really cold tonight for some reason. Uh, yeah I'm going to a music festival so I gotta save all the cash. Can't be splashing it on Palace. But um, maybe later on, maybe later down in the season, we'll maybe pick something up. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, let me know what you're going to be picking up from week one down in that comment section below. Of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Palace collabs in the seasons, you got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, a subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,565 subs before the end of the month. We are still one sub off. We are still one sub off. I'm hoping with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3565 before the end of February. But that's everything I got to say about week one, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you're going for something from this week. I hope you managed to pick up what you want in the size and color you are after. But until the next Palace video, until the next Drop List video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, I'll catch you later.